Emma, we are now 15 months into the partnership between the club and the Stephen Gerrard Academy. How is everything looking both on and off the pitch? Uh, it's been a fantastic 15 months. We've, uh, we've really, really progressed both inside and outside of the classroom. Our intake this year has been uh, phenomenal, matching the, uh, the, the intake of 2020 in terms of, obviously, everybody's here to play football, their football and ability, but also what else they bring. Some fantastic pupils, but most importantly, a fantastic group of young people. The commitment to show every single day from, from the, the four corners of, of Belfast and beyond getting in here. Uh, trains, planes and automobiles to get into the cliff every single day. So we're blessed with a fantastic group of young people uh, to, to build them, uh, the intake that we took in in, in 2020. So 15 months in, we're, we're really, really happy with where we are. Results uh, on the pitch have been, have been very good develop, developmentally. They're doing really, really well. Uh, in the classroom, it's, 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 it's as busy as ever. Uh, we're, we're, we're very fortunate that uh, we have a great tutor in Eamon who, who leads both groups. The integration of the new group coming in has been brilliant, but also the four teams pushing on from where they were last year and focusing on uh, options uh, outside of football and outside of the classroom, which is really important. Uh, with her year two scholars, how does the rest of the year look for them? What lies in store for their future? Uh, it's, it's a busy time. Just today we were, uh, were in the midst of doing their, their UCAS applications. Uh, obviously the, all the young people here are here to develop as footballers and, and they all have a uh, tenfold. It's been phenomenal to witness the development. Uh, but, but our job, uh, Eamon especially, it, it, it's our job to get them uh, the best qualifications uh, out of this and look at, look at a life beyond a football pitch as a player and that doesn't that, that doesn't rule out that their coaching pathway or their scholarship pathway in America but what we're really really focusing on at the minute is, is their UCAS applications and getting their having their university uh, application done as early as possible to have it as a backup with their football career injuries can t play a huge part lack of form uh, sometimes even as an individual you think that the football route isn't for me what else what else is there so at the minute we're focusing on uh, university options that are here available in, in Ulster and Stramillis, but also uh, over in Liverpool with obviously the huge connection we have over there with uh, Stephen Gerrard Academy. A lot of our young people will be getting to visit uh, Liverpool Hope University before Christmas uh, and seeing what uh, options are there for them. Our young people are, have, have said there's a, a real particular focus on uh, sports therapy, sports science, sports coaching. So some really, really interesting pathways for them. Uh, beyond the UCAS stuff, we're really focusing on uh, as many experiences and opportunities as they have. Uh, April time, I think, April 2022, will be the Stephen Gerrard Academy Tournament over in Liverpool, so we'll be over there for that. But we're also, uh, there could be some exciting opportunities for one or two young people to potentially get involved in the Dallas Cup Tournament, which is Easter next year as well. And we're also looking at other tournaments, uh, both in the, in the UK and, and further afield for our young people. So lots of opportunities. And then finally, we'll, we'll be gearing some of them up towards our Global Coaching Conference in uh, late November, late November, where our young people will get the opportunity to gain coaching contracts abroad. Last year, we had Aidan and Ben and Scott and Alex who did extremely well and, and gained a coaching uh, opportunity. Didn't happen because of COVID, but those four and, and a few more will be, will be uh, hopefully taking up those coaching opportunities next year as well. Uh, the scholars play in their domestic leagues over here and com competitions through Niffle, but what you kind of touched on the other opportunities that are available. What exactly is there right there for them? Uh, well, last year was the first year of the, the Stephen Gerrard uh, tournament in, in Liverpool. I was fortunate enough to go over to it and there was an array of teams from Leeds, from Sunderland, from all over the UK. This year we'll be bringing two, potentially three teams over there for our 13s and 14s. And on a day like that, I, I was fortunate enough to, to, to meet and, and uh, be introduced to, to scouts from different teams all over uh, the UK, uh, professional teams, semi-pro teams. So when we go over this year, young people will get the opportunity to play in front of these people, uh, which, which is really, really important, uh, that they're, they're broadening their horizons, their network, and putting themselves in front of people over there. Uh, because you know each team's always looking for something different, so it's important that you get in front of as many people as possible. Uh, we're also looking at the opportunity for some of our young people to get out on our programme in Alicante in, in Spain after Christmas. It's something we're working on at the moment and it'll be something I'll be introducing to the group soon, maybe getting a two or three week opportunity out there. Uh, Education-wise, they'll go out there, 
with our centre out there and they'll study exactly what we're doing here. Uh, but they'll get the chance to play out there and, and, and experience European football and essentially that's what we want to, to give our young people. Uh, in Liverpool, we're blessed with, with the staff we have in, in, in SGA because of their contacts. Uh, two or three of our, our tutors and, and lead educations over there play Welsh League uh, at, at a very, very high standard. We're up against the uh, Balotan, uh, the team that uh, Lauren played earlier in the European uh, competition. And being in front of them as well will give the young guys a, a chance to maybe speak to them about what Welsh football is like and Welsh Premier League football and just uh, expanding those opportunities to, to maybe take up uh, an opportunity if it comes their way. Thankfully, there's been a bit more structure last year with the easing of restrictions due to the pandemic. What have, you, what have been the highlights so far? Uh, th well, the highlight so far, I think, well, uh, as the whole club has been involved in in in, in the European run, and it's it certainly uh, it certainly filtered down to the 18s and and, and 20s and, and our scholars massively. Uh, what we have is on, on was more players making the first team debut, which is which is huge. Uh, our some of our 16, our first years coming in playing 18s and 20s, and a special mention I, I can't not mention young uh, uh, Caelan Donnelly making his uh, first team debut last week at 16 years of age. But I think for uh, ourselves, Eamon and, and the broader education team, it, it's just that for them, it's seeing a new group coming through as hungry, as uh, driven, as humble uh, as the group above them and, and seeing where they can go, both inside and outside of the classroom. The, the, the highlights are great when you get European runs and into first team football, but on a day to day basis, the, the humility and the, and the drive and the, uh, the ambition that we see of the young people of where they want to be. Uh, I was fortunate enough, I was at the 20 game last night, and again, uh, some of our young players, some of our 16, 17 year olds, Shea, uh, Owen, Caelan again, stepped up uh, and playing two and three years above, above their own age group and, and doing really, really well. So we're, we're very, very fortunate that way. Um, finally, what are the plans for both age groups moving forward? Uh, in, in, in terms of, we, as I say, from now to October half term, we're busy, busy time. Uh, Eamon, Eamon's got the, the, the very difficult task being the, the taskmaster in the classroom and make, making sure everything is uh, delivered and in on time and the UCAS applications are, are, are a big part of what we're doing over the next while. Getting as much game time Mondays uh, and obviously uh, Fridays for the for the 18s and the 20s. We've actually, we've organised the game for tomorrow, the first ever uh, SGA game over here in, in, in Northern Ireland, where the SGA Derry uh, group are coming down the place in Inver tomorrow afternoon. So for us, what we're doing outside of the 18s and 20s, a uh, Niffle and National League game, we're organising competitive fixtures as well to get as many people football as possible. Uh, our pathways, our individual pathways, meetings are start have started already. So by Christmas, each member, whether you're first year or second year, will know what the picture looks like outside of football for the next six and 18 months if university is an option. Uh, am I going to be staying at home? Am I going to be going away? What are the options away? Scholarship in America, we're, we're, we're very fortunate. We have a good scholarship team around us as well. And for three or four people in the group, it's a keen interest for them. So a lot of exciting stuff happening on and off the pitch. And obviously a, a, a nice trip over to Liverpool before Christmas would be really good. Uh, hopefully with, with, with COVID allowing, we'll get over there and get like, some games played again. So exciting times. After a year of disruptive learning and learning on Zooms through the COVID pandemic is, how's the mood with the guys being back in the classroom finally? It's, it, it's been brilliant being back, being back at the base. It feels like almost even for our second years, it feels like starting all over again. Uh, we're very, very, very keen to support our young people, obviously physically and academically, but also mentally. And we've found a real, a real shift in, in the mood that the consistency that we've been able to have in the classroom, but having the both groups, uh, the football is, 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 as we all know, is a small circle, so they know each other. They might be a year or two in, in, in the difference. They might come from different parts of, of uh, Belfast and beyond, uh, but they know each other uh, really, really well. And the mix, the mix with each other at break times, uh, lunch times, obviously, they flip their classroom and pitch sessions, but there's a real camaraderie there, and we, we, we feel a real uh, shift in the mood. Uh, Eamon in particular spends a lot of time on their, you know, focusing on well-being and mental health in a very subtle way and we can identify already that there's a real togetherness and, and it's really important and if anybody is falling behind that way that we're, we're, we're there to support them which is which is really important uh, and then the, 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 the plans beyond that are, are, are huge because obviously we, we, we've had a very successful 15 months and, and, and the numbers are fantastic and pathways on what we're doing uh, but we were very fortunate to have a, a great meeting here a few weeks ago where, where uh, 
Joe Mulhern and Jordan Wright come over from SGA from Liverpool and, and the plans in place moving forward and, and uh, these plans are, are just going to uh, take us to a next level uh, here here at, at Lawn Football Club which is really exciting and the young people that are in last year and, and, and this year they know they're the first groups in here and, and they're very excited to be part of that but no one being the first in the door that the example they have to set and, and it, it, they're impeccable they really really are they, they, their, their conduct their attitude their, their uh, humility and everything is it, it, they've, they've, they've set the bar to a very very high standard so it, it's a pleasure being back uh, back amongst them that's perfect thank you